to show you when you need neonatal resuscitation. So, before anything else, I am GC Bailon from CPAC. I am a nursing student too. So, before we proceed, we should always prepare the equipment like the towel and the ambu bag and, of course, the stethoscope. So, neonatal resuscitation is very important to identify if the infant in a newborn is performed a or establish a breathing or if the infant in a newborn has no signs of breathing or heartbeat. So, we should always position the baby into a parallel and should the, the chest up and Dry. It's very important to dry the baby. Uh, resuscitation is very important for the newborn. For example, if the infant or the newborn has no sign of breathing or uh, um, no um, efforts of heart rate or no vital signs, then we should perform the resuscitation um, if the extremities or so the, the fans or the feet are not moving then we should perform the resuscitation then we should always um, check the muscle tone, uh, heart rate and uh, baby is cyanotic and the baby is not responding so we should perform the resuscitation but if the baby is uh, Finding and have a um, effort of breathing. Um, let's dry the baby and uh, give it to her, her mother for the skin to skin contact. When we assess the baby, um, the baby is not responding and no breathing, and uh, the baby is cyanotic and also clumsy uh, or not moving. So. We should to have a resuscitation. So first, we should have five ventilation. So open the waist and position the baby into a parallel surface, and then we will have a ventilation and then five times inflated for breathing. Take note that the ball mass must be fit to the nose and the mouth of the baby so that the procedure will be performed well. We will start the equipment five times for the breathing of the baby or the newborn. One, two, three, off. 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 And then after five minutes of inflated, then for breathing, reassess again the liver for the changes. So after we assess in the baby, the baby has no response, the heartbeat is still low and then no, the color is no changes, still cyanotic. So we should perform the ventilation again. So five times of one, two, three. Four two three, five two three, and then check if there is changes and the color. Still no changes. Let's proceed to the chest. Compression. So if you perform the two 
times the nation when the baby has no changes. So you should proceed to the chest compression and call for help. Nice girls. Um, let's uh, perform the chest compression and to what? Uh, three compression and one ventilation. One, two, three. One. 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 So let's reassess the child or the newborn for changes. Color, the muscle tone, the heart. So after the chest contraction with the help of our nurse, so if the baby, if the newborn still no response, still the muscle tone and the color is Let's uh, administer um, drug which is like a pain free that could help the infant for the changes for the response of breathing. And if after administering medication and then the infant still no uh, responses, no efforts of breathing, then let's proceed to give or provide. Uh, Volume expander that could hold the baby for breathing, but then if still the baby is not responding, um, let's give volume expander, but then no changes from the newborn. Um, let's wait for the management from the doctor or the nurses, and then um, whatever the management from the doctor or the nurses. Then, after the management from the doctor and the nurses, let's stop resuscitating the baby because it could um, leak or it's a risk for the baby from um, fracture or from chest compression and then whatever the decision from the doctor and uh, let the doctor and the family of the patient talk about um, the resuscitation. That's all. Thank you so much for watching.